Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha here. I'm just gonna do some paint pour over these three um, little canvases I have. They're eight by tens, and I'm ha I've had them for a while, not really known what to do with them. Um, so I thought this would be a pretty cool project. So I have some blue, some purple, some yellow, some white, some black, and it's just. Um, like cheap, I guess, student grade paint. Um, it's Sargent acrylic paints. That's what they are. The black is Galleria Mars black. Um, uh, but the rest, oh no, the white is the Galleria white. Uh, but the three yellow, blue, and purple are the Sargent's paint. So I'm just going to start, and I have the black here. It might be a little lumpy, um, but I'm just going to pour. I've never done this before. But I thought it would be something cool to try. Oh, I'm gonna come out fast, they do. That one started already. Doesn't seem to like this white. And I want to use all these same colors for all three canvases. Yeah, it doesn't like that white. I don't think it's mixed up enough. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and see what happens with this. Hope you guys can see. So I'm just going to try to come this way. And I don't think it was enough paint. It's gonna start doing that again. Sorry. Don't know why it does that. I got extra lighting and it still does that, so. I'm just mixing up some of the white here.
some more yellow. This way. It's very messy. It gets like all over your hands. And I don't want it to fall in the bucket. I'm just trying to cover these. Edges. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick just so I can see if I can adjust the camera for you guys so it can stop blinking. Well, I'm trying to work and show you something. But that is on my, on my list is to invest in, in a nice um, camera so I can take better videos for you guys. So if anybody knows of a really good camera that isn't expensive, that takes good videos for YouTube, then sh let me know. Put a comment down below. I'm going to greatly appreciate it. So I like what it's doing here. I don't know what it's doing. these little bumps that I think were in the black. But you see how I didn't even use green and green is just in there? Awesome, just loving it. Okay, so that is that one. And I don't think I want to mess with it anymore. I think I actually like it. Like that. So now, switcheroo. Here's my next one. Let's just pick this one up. And set it on down there. Now, I did say I was going to go wash my hands, but I think that's kind of pointless. So, let's just keep on going. I want to make sure you guys can see and keep an eye on the camera so it doesn't blink out. I have to go towel here. There. Okay, let's do this again. Get the black. See, the black is very chunky. It didn't stare up very well. 
but that's okay. It's going to add to the texture. And this is me just practice too. I've never done this. I wanted to see how it was going to come out with these paints. Because they're the ones that I have in like economic size. So probably should have stirred it up. So it stays in the middle like that. yellow is so pretty and vibrant I'm running low on the yellow and I'm probably going to go out to get more the white is lumpy it shouldn't be maybe I didn't mix it properly or enough okay you guys ready to watch the magic happen that's ready set go I'm gonna go towards you guys first so you can see Now I'm going to come towards me. Well, slow your horses. Now I'm going to go this way. Back up this way. And back down that way. Now this one's got a lot more texture, but I like it, I really really like it. I just want to kind of finish this, these parts on the canvas, the sides that were missed by the pour. See so like down here, it's There's that one. It's doing that blinking. I want to get the lighting properly. Okay, 
So now we gotta switch this one out. Where's this one? And here we go again. Some black. I don't like how lumpy it is. Hopefully it's not as bad. No, it's bad. So, yeah, I have cottage cheese, black. I'm sure you guys have had that before. But I think it's okay for this type of stuff because it's going to give me the texture that I want. This is the last of the yellow, so I might as well put it all on there. Okay, I think it's ready. You guys ready for this one? Here we go. To you guys first. And back towards this way and down this way so that one didn't turn out a whole lot of nothing. So you know what else I want to try? I want to kind of just try this because I've seen something like this to get done. Now that is gorgeous. Sorry, so not in the frame.
to that is that one. It's not as bright. I do like that, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another pour, just with the rest that I have. fast. It just happens so fast. Way too much purple. So I'm going to come with some blue. And this is the last of the white. Okay, so I'm really not liking this. I like those too, but this one is just not, it's not coming out for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip it in here again. Bloop. Drop it in. And lift it out. There. I think that is gorgeous. That's just going to be its own little separate one. I think it looks gorgeous, just like that. Okay. Make sure all the edges are covered, which they are. Place it down here. Because I still like this color stuff going on here, I'm going to get some more canvases real quick. Grab a 9 by 12 and an 11 by 14. Well, these are panels, so maybe I'll just do the 9 by 12 panel. I don't even want to do a panel because if I put it in there, I don't know how I'm going to get it back out. So this, is, this is where it's, where it becomes sad is when you have all this paint that you want to play with and you have no more canvas to use. Oh well, I do have this top because I have this box. I have this box that I want to alter that I'm trying to turn into something. I painted it a white already. <coughs> So in from the box top, I'm gonna try to put the box top in here and see what happens. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> so 
for this panel then. I'm putting the 9 by 9 by 12 in. She's going in and she doesn't fit either. This is so sad. Um, so let me just show you then what I have. I'm going to close this up. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. It's very messy, very, very messy. So I have that one. And I've taken a break from making reefs because I have quite a few that um, I have in inventory and they're not really going anywhere and I'm just running out of space to keep making reefs and storing them. So I've gone back to painting for now. There's that one. So pretty. I haven't started an Etsy shop. Um, I kind of wanted to wait to see if I got interest on any of these online first. Um, I'm going to take pictures and post them on my Instagram and my Facebook page. Um, so if you like these and you want to make an offer or you want to buy them or whatever, just hit me a, send me a message on my Instagram or Facebook. Um, doesn't matter. So. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of my videos please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Bye for now.